All right, so just got my GoPro back today. Um, GoPro was kind enough to, outside of warranty, take it back and give me a discounted price on a brand new one, which they didn't have to do anything for me based on warranty or anything. So super awesome that they were willing to do that. Got it all set up and I'm so excited to finally get this thing going again. Frustrating that I had to um, use external cameras and everything else. Finally though, we're back together again. Yes. So I'm about to head over to this place. This battery is giving me some issues. So I'm gonna, it's still under warranty. And I'm gonna see if we can get, just get that swapped out today. So let's see if it even turns on this time. I'm also gonna have to replace my ignition because as you can see, this doesn't look like the easiest thing in the world because it isn't. Something's wrong with my tumblers and such. Oh my God, thank you, it started right up. So that's been a rare occasion lately. As usual, I forgot to strap my helmet up. Look, Ma, no hands. I don't know if I sound a little different, but I'm getting some sort of a cold or something. My coworkers got me sick and it sucks. All right, I don't know why that lady decided to let me go. Well, I was saying that, but then I actually saw her flick on her left turn signal the last second when I was ditching out of there. But like, duh, why don't you have your signal on already? I could have gone way earlier than out of your way. You just wasted so much of our green light. And such a short light, too. Guarantee you, because of that miscommunication, somebody got screwed out of being able to go through that intersection in a timely manner. Why is this person stopping? <laughs> Stop at a green light, jeez. So anyway, I'm so lucky to have picked up the Sueoki battery, external battery jumper kit when I did, because this battery has been taking a straight dump on me lately. And for whatever reason, is having such a hard time starting my bike. I don't know why, I don't know what the deal is with that. I'll be sitting here trying to start it, and then it won't work. I plug it up to the Sueoki and boom, it starts right up. I don't know what the deal is. I don't have anything running on my bike when it's off. And it's not even something that just happens if the bike has been sitting for a while. Uh, so I have to Sueoki it up and get it going and then head home. Like I'll stall and then all of a sudden it just won't start back up. And I'm like, okay, that's awesome. Now I'm in the middle of traffic. I gotta pull over to the side of the road, stick the Sueoki back on and start it again. I don't get it. I don't understand why it would do that at all, but whatever. I guess we'll figure it out when we get there and they test the battery. Couldn't tell if that was a sheriff on a motorcycle behind me. Oh no, it's just some dude on a Suzuki. I just saw the tall windscreen and couldn't tell. Looks like a little sport touring Suzuki of some sort. I don't know what size though. I have, I'm so bad with anything other than the bikes that I've closely been associated with. So Yamahas and the obvious iconic sport bikes and then like Harley Sportsters and that's about it. I don't know jack about most other bikes. I don't have my headphones in right now either. I feel like awkward not being attached to this. Like I just actually reached down under my neck like this and tried to grab by my shirt um, to see, to like pull the cable and see where it was so I didn't tangle myself. But there just wasn't one and I was like, wait, I'm not attached. I feel so free. But I don't got any tunes going, so that's lame. This is boring. So I feel brand new over here. I'm gonna get a new battery. We got these bad boys on, the handlebar mirrors finally. I finally got these pegs put on back here, so I'm not standing on a broken knob. So, so nice. I went from, uh, I saw a review on this specific pegs, these specific pegs that I've picked up, um, that said they're decent, but they're not the exact length as OEM as advertised or something like that. They're a little shorter, so if you have big feet like mine, uh, blah, 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 complaint, complaint. This is so ridiculous. 
I tell you what, dude, go with riding on a knob for like a month and then put your foot on one of these and just feel the luxurious space. It's ridiculous. These are not small. These are wider than my foot by at least a centimeter to a half of an inch. Well, I guess it depends on what part of my foot, but I'm including this whole piece that you put your foot on. Anyway, it's a place for your foot to be positioned on and rested, not necessarily to hold your entire foot. So I don't know what that guy's complaining about in the first place anyway. It's not a couch. My buddy, uh, that video blows, asked me um, on the Q&A video, am I Xbox or PlayStation? <laughs> he said, I'm asking the important questions. Let's get to the bottom of this right now. I'm PC all the way. Me and michaelparish.net, he builds the PCs. I pick out the parts with him. Uh, he knows a lot about that. So we put the PCs together custom, so much cheaper. Then I have all my editing and everything else and it's great. And I can run just about anything super amazingly and then play all the video games I want. Ugh, I can't tell you how stoked I am to finally have my GoPro back. I feel like I was incomplete until today. That guy gave me the uh, the wave and I wasn't paying attention and then also was like trying to clutch, so I feel bad. He's probably like, ah, douchebag sports bike rider, never give me the wave. Which is how we always feel whenever we see the Harley guy driving by, he doesn't give us the wave. <laughs> Dude, if you haven't been to Taco China and you live in the central Orlando area, down here on 50, ooh, you are messing up, my dude. So good. Hmm, I wonder if it would be a better idea to go this way and hang a right and a left. Let's see. I don't know, honestly. I might just get stuck at another light that takes even longer, but we'll see. Oh man, that's like part of the road? It's so weird. Oh, nice, well I caught this green so that works anyway. Twas a good idea, at least this time. Well, maybe, we'll see. Yo, could you be slower? Jeez. I'm like trying to like get up this little hill without stalling. Not like that's hard, but like I had nowhere to go because like I was going like negative two miles an hour. Nice anniversary edition. I think it was an R6. So yeah, I'm stoked about the suburb. So I'm stoked about the suburb. Jeez, why can't I talk? So I am stoked about the suburban delinquent meetup and I'm stoked to get some stickers together uh, and maybe even some t-shirts by then um, or some sort of merch uh, by then so that I'll have something to give away and some stuff for people to pick up if they want um, for the meetup which would be super cool and then I'll be able to put those up um, on the channel and whatnot for you guys to pick up too so that'll be awesome I'm gonna be designing some stuff up in the near future Guy turning or stopping? <laughs> he really doesn't want to be anywhere near the cars in front of him. It's because he's looking down at his phone over and over. I could just see his head keep turning down and looking and then check and then turning down and looking and then check. Over and over and over. Nice KTM, that looks like fun. Scrambler, Ducati, I'd love one, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Let's see if old Shelby needs a new battery. All right, let's see. Started right up, beautiful. This guy's car, what is he doing? What are these people doing? Like, I don't see his brake lights activating, but he was like stopping or slowing and then he was like swerving to the left. I, I thought he was maybe trying to turn. I don't know what this guy's doing.